Hello everybody. Uh, in this video, we're going to answer some questions based on the stoichiometry from the uh, past papers. This question was found in one of the previous exams, which was conducted by CAIE. So the first question uh, we have here, I diluted hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium carbonate solution. So we have the diluted hydrochloric acid is right over here. Okay, reacted with sodium carbonate solution. First question, explain why effervescence is seen during the reaction. As you can see, effervescence is seen during the reaction. This means that this is part of the product. Okay, so look at the state symbol of each product in ACL. It's found as aqueous. Uh, so it's not going to give out a gas because effervescence is stands, stands for a gas. Here we have water, which is liquid, but here we have carbon dioxide. So basically we write here because the production of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas because of the carbon dioxide or CO2 uh, gas production. So that's the reason why we can find uh, effervescence or bubbles of gases that comes up from the liquid. So, and as you have seen, that's one more question. And when you mentioned that carbon dioxide gas is made, this will uh, give you one mark. Let's see the second question. Second question is based on uh, stoichiometry. Diluted hydrochloric acid was tit titrated with sodium carbonate solution. We have over here a 10 centimeter cube of 0.1 mole per dm cube of hydrochloric acid so you need to know that this is the volume right so v equals 10 centimeter cube okay concentration of hydrochloric acid equals 0.1 mole per dm cube so we have a volume and we have concentration but as you can see that the volume which is mentioned over here is mentioned in cm cube so in any calculation we need to change the cm cube into dm cube perfect a few drops of methyl orange indicator methyl orange is an indicator that changes its color as per the media which is found in were added to the diluted hydrochloric acid the mixture was titered uh, with sodium carbonate solution uh the sorry titrated and over here 16.2 uh, centimeter cube of sodium carbonate solution were required to react completely with the acid so over here this is the volume of sodium carbonate so we have for sodium carbonate volume and we need to write that right over here that's v of sodium carbonate 16.2 and that's centimeter cube, so we need to change it into the MQ as well. So let's see uh, in question B, we have first question I. What color would the methyl orange uh, indicator be in the hydrochloric acid? From the chapter of acid bases and salts, if you memorize the information about the indicators, you're going to know that methyl orange in an acid has a red color, okay? So the color of methyl orange will be red in HCl. Good. Second part of the question, calculate how many moles of hydrochloric acid were used. So in order to know that, we need to uh, get the volume in dm cube. So I'm going to change volume first, then divided by 1000 to change it into dm cube, which is going to be 0.01 uh, dm cube that's the volume okay and we have the concentration equal 0.1 from the previous video you can know that n equals cv you know keep it in mind when you grow up one day you're going to look for a job and in order to just represent yourself uh, in a company you submit the cv right so get it that way to keep it in mind uh, C stands for the concentration, which is going to be in equal 0.1 multiplied by 0.01. Please do the calculation by the help of the uh, calculator. So 
perfect answer should be 0.001 mole so that's the answer or the number of moles for the hydrochloric acid let's see the second question uh, use your answer in, uh, to be II and uh, the equation for the reaction to calculate the number of moles of sodium carbonate that reacted. See, this is a, a very important part. You need to know how to figure out uh, the number of moles of one of the reactant by the help of the other reactant. In order to get this answer, we need to look at the equation one more time. See, we have per... Uh, two moles of HCl we have one mole of sodium carbonate right so here we have two let me put it in red just to highlight it and keep it in mind for every two mo moles of HCl we require one mole of Na2CO3 uh, good so ratio is two to one so let's see how uh, will we answer the question uh, here we're going to put two HCLs, right? It needs one mole of Na2CO3, right? And by the help of the volume and concentration, we have found that the number of moles which was used in the equation or in the reaction was 0.001 HCL. So by the help of cross multiplication, we can find the number of moles of Na2CO3 which was used, right? In order to do cross multiplication, we are going to multiply the number of moles that was really used in the reaction, which is 0.001 multiplied by 1. Okay, so here we have multiplication going to be 0.001 times 1 equals 2 times n so write 2 n in simple mathematics in order to find out n we are going to divide both sides by 2 right so it's going to be uh, 0.001 times 1 divided by 2 equals 2 divided by 2 n right so we simplify 2 with 2 then uh, I want you to do this calculation. It's going to be 0.001 divided by 2. Do it with the uh, calculator. You're going to find that the answer of this question should be 0.0005. Good. So number of moles for sodium carbonate that was used is 0.0005. Then, uh, next question, use your answer to BIII to calculate the concentration of the sodium carbonate solution in mole per dm cube. As you can see, we uh, each step uh, is based on the previous one. Good. So we have calculated over here the number of moles, which is N equals 0 0.0005. Good and we have the volume i think we he has given us the volume uh, in the question v equals 16.2 but as you know 16.2 that's in centimeter cube we need to change it into dm cube so v equals 16.2 divided by a thousand to change it into dm cube can anybody give me the answer Do it by the help of the comp uh, calculator exactly answer should be 0 0.0162 so that's in dm cubes fantastic in order to get uh, the concentration as you know n equals cv right in order to get the concentration so i'm going to divide the n by the volume so c equals 0 0.00 O five divided by 0 0.0162 this should give you uh, an answer as the following please do it with the help of your calculator
exactly answer should be 0.0308 uh, good so you can write 0.0, uh, 0 uh, 03 uh, should be enough for this uh, answer and as you can see uh, changing the volume into dm cube this gives you one mark out of two and writing the correct concentration will give you the second mark so each step each step is uh, uh, giving you uh, a certain mark in some questions so please uh, try to write as much as possible all the steps should be written uh, over there in the answer Last question, in another experiment, 0.02 moles of, of sodium carbonate were, uh, were reacted with excess hydrochloric acid. When you see the word excess hydrochloric acid, you need to know that whatever uh, the calculation that is going to take place right now is going to exclude the hydrochloric acid because hydrochloric acid is found in excess, which means that it has part of the moles has reacted in the equation, in the reaction, and the other part didn't react in the reaction. So taking the number of moles for hydrochloric acid in order to work out other uh, variables is not going to be realistic. Good. So we're going to depend on uh, this value, which is number of moles for sodium carbonate. Calculate the maximum volume at RTB of carbon dioxide. In order to find the answer for this uh, reaction or for this question, we need first to look at the equation so let's go and see the equation equations is sodium carbonate has a ratio of one mole to one mole of carbon dioxide right so ratio is one to one ratio is one to one one mole over here we have no number which is written so it's one mole here we have no number which is written so it's one mole so for every one mole of uh, sodium carbonate we are going to produce one mole or the reaction will be producing one mole of carbon dioxide so let's do the calculations over here. One mole of Na2CO3 produces one mole of carbon dioxide, right? So 0 0.02 moles of Na2CO3 will produce N. Normally, when you have a ratio of 1 to 1, the number of moles which is mentioned over here, 0 0.02, is going to be the same as number of moles for the carbon dioxide. I'm going to show you in details just to keep it in mind because we're going to have 0 0.02 multiplied by 1 equals 1 multiplied by n. Okay? So, as you know, we'll write it in a simple formula. So, n equals 0 0.02 right so we have the number of moles for uh, the carbon dioxide here we're uh, he's asking us to calculate the maximum volume at rtb you remember the equation for the gas n equal v divided by 24 so it should be uh, 0.02 equals v divided by 24 so in order to get it correct we need to multiply the 0.24 by, uh, sorry, 0.02 by 24. So V equals 0.02 multiplied by 24. Please use, use your calculator to figure out the answer. Perfect. Answer for this question should be 0.48. So, uh, we are going to have a maximum volume of 0.48 dm cube of carbon dioxide which will be produced in this reaction. I hope you have seen the pattern of uh, the questions of the past paper based on stoichiometry. As you can see each step is based on the previous one. So most probably if you got one wrong your whole question will be uh, cut and you won't get any mark uh, in the calculations. Please take care, read carefully, uh, look at the units because these are very, very, very important. Without the correct unit, you won't get the correct answer. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson and see you next time.